I think to contribute to any drug trial is a gift. There are many, many people in the future who will have this disease. The sooner we get to that cure, the better. The, the more drug trials that we run, the more people who partake, the faster we'll get there. My name is Larry Welk. I was born in Dodge City, Kansas. Uh, moved over to this country in 77 and have been here ever since. Larry and I met uh, in 1970 in Boston. Uh, we were both working at the same hospital. And um, he was very cute. <laughs> and. He drove this little sports car, um, and I used to get allergies, so every time he wanted to put the top down, I had to make him put the top back up again. <laughs> um, he, he was the first guy that I dated who was more interested in what I wanted to do uh, when we went out than <clears throat> what he wanted to do. I used to call him sometimes the absent-minded professor because he would be so in his own head that he wasn't listening. And, and I was accusing him of not listening. And I kept saying, but I, I told you that, you know, we're going to go there and then we're going to do that. And he wasn't absorbing it. And I didn't, I didn't think that much about that until um, we went to Boston where my son was living then. And he noticed that Larry's memory was slipping. When the diagnosis came through, um, you know, Rita and I were, um, uh, would talk about what the long-term effects is. Now, it's, it's difficult to predict, but uh, having uh, my mother who went through it, I could see what was down the road. Larry's memory problems started eight years ago, so we've had eight years of dealing with his memory loss. And I feel, and he feels, extremely fortunate that we happened on this drug trial. The um, trial is an infusion every two weeks. The staff providing the trial are quite supportive, quite friendly. In fact, I would say they're, they're as much as friends and family and not just clinical trialers, if, if that makes sense. I do feel fortunate that we looked it in the face and said, yes, we need to get some, some help with this. And that diagnosis, having come so early in the game for Larry, got us on this route on this journey at a time when he could be helped. One of the things with a clinical trial is you never know what the outcome is going to be and um, sometimes there's, there's no real benefit or outcome at all. But with this trial, I feel I have quite benefited. There are things that when everyone, when you get old, you forget things like, why did you go into that room? and oh, what channel is that program on? But, but my memory uh, you know, had slipped a little bit more than normal going back uh, four or five years. Now, on lecanemab, it hasn't slipped a lot. I um, take memory tests every six months, and those really haven't uh, changed in, in the uh, uh, four years that I've been in the lecanemab trial. Well, when I think of my sister and I think of Larry's mother and friends of ours who have Alzheimer's, and I just think if you could somehow avoid that in the future. Not every drug trial out there is going to be beneficial, but every drug trial is going to tell the researcher something about that drug. So that's the reason to be on a drug trial.